we are standing right here at Mr. Ratoro's farm, one of the fish farmers in Chenjo Town Council, and behind me is some of these ponds, like this one, and a few ponds here that were recently harvested, and we are planning for stocking. We are going to stock tilapia and uh, African catfish in pole culture system. On this very site, we also have uh, is the very site where we're going to set up a black soldier fly enterprise um, behind here with the piggery unit. And this BSF, we are looking to an aspect whereby it is going to address the challenges of the aquafids in this particular district or this particular area. And um, the challenge of aquafids has come a longer way, reason being that the commercial pellets cannot be afforded by small-scale fish farmers in this particular district. But also, um, accessibility of these commercial pellets are not also not very good. And we are improvising to find alternative protein sources. And BSF has proven it that it is the gold that we need to address the upper feeds. Reason being, it has so many products that we could obtain from BSF. Uh, for example, the powder, the live maggots, the the, the defated uh, meal and all that. And we see it can really give us good results by, by halving the cost of operation cost of feeds. It's evident that um, operation feeds account for close to 60% of the operation costs and 40% remain to other things. So if we are able to adopt the Black Soldier Fly enterprise, we'd see such kind of fish farming enterprises improving for reason being that we have cut the cost to halfway of what uh, farmers really need to incur in terms of feeding. So um, the next uh, is us to have a way forward of setting up a BSF. We believe that Mr. Rator would be one of the lead farmers who whereby he would motivate and inspire other people to do black soldier fly in this particular district because he has shown key interest even before training. He's one of the people I've always pushed to have BSF training at this and we thank so much Protein for coming to this district and teaching our small scale fish farmers on ways of addressing aquatic feed challenges. And my name is Joseph Aridan, one of the extension workers from Marura Protein. We are so pleased with one of our farmers, the extension worker from Chenjojo, who connected and came in and Marura is coming in to bridge the gap that the farmers are facing as he has narrated on the challenges of feeding the aquatic life that is the fish. So we thank him so much and it is our wish and task to see that farmers are helped and they are able to sustain their life and also to get income with the reduced cost of rearing poultry, of poultry mm -hmm. fish and pigger. Thank you very much. Remain Joseph Marura Protein. Thank you.